Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. I'm Walter Keller of Safety Arrow Firearms. Welcome to our How It's Made video of the SHTF-50. The SHTF-50 is a magazine-fed upper conversion for the AR-15. The SHTF-50 upper conversions, they're made primarily in, in the Tampa Bay area, Safety Harbor, Florida, hence Safety Harbor Firearms. Um, most of the parts are made in the Bay Area. Few exceptions are made out of the Bay Area. Parts we make in-house, the receiver, barrel extension, bolt body, bolt head, bolt carriers, some of the other small uh, scope rails, some of the other small aluminum parts, muzzle brakes are most of the parts we make inside. And then some of the pieces we use to make those are also made outside. Things that are made out of the shop, firing pins, barrels, some of the small screws we use in the, in the manufacturing. Most of the parts though are made in-house, so we try to keep it that way. The manufacturer of the SHTF-50, whether it's magazine fed or single shot, is kind of involved We'll make receiver sections, we'll make barrel extensions, we'll make bolt heads. The parts will all gather in the shop, the firing pins, the extrusion, the scope rails. And then some of those parts require external finishing, say like anodizing on the scope rails. Most of the metal parts we parkerize in the shop, um, sandblast and parkerize. Then those pieces, say like for example, this, this, the receiver section and the barrel extension and the mag weld all have to be welded together, TIG welded. So that'll get done. Um, they might get 30, 40, 50 of them at one time, get welded up and they'll be put aside. And then we'll, as we build to order, we'll take those barrels and we'll take the barrel extension, I mean the, the welded receivers, the barrels, the bolt heads and start fitting them all together and then fit and finish and then assembly and you know, all the safety headspace stuff and all that. The assembly process for the SHTF-50 is uh, pretty straightforward. We start out by making the receivers they get machined on CNC machinery. Then they might be sitting for a while, while the mag wells are made, uh, barrel extensions, bolt heads. Um, parts come in, we'll take those receiver pieces, the mag well and the barrel extension, and we'll weld those together. Say you're doing a group of 20 of them, you'll get 20 bolt heads, 20 bolt carriers, firing pins, you'll fit those pieces together, make sure everything's working together good, do any uh, minor finishing that needs to be done to those. In the meantime, things like the scope rails, the bipod mounting rails, the, all the other small parts, they're being made at, at different times too. And they come together, the, the scope rails might need to be anodized, then they're sent out for anodizing. Firing pins come in, they have to go out for heat treat when they come in. Barrels we make, they're made out of a house. So um, usually they come, most of the time the barrels come ready to assemble with, with head spacing, of course. And then once all the pieces are here, will we'll fit them together. It requires some, some minor fitting. It's a little bit of grinding here and there. With the barrels, we check for headspace. And then once the barrels are headspaced and all those pieces are fitted and they're checked for function, then they'll go off to be um, parkerized in the shop. Or some of those parts have already been anodized. The aluminum parts have been anodized. So that's already done out of, out of the shop. But they'll be parkerized. And then once the parkerizing is done, then the final assembly takes place where once again, um, we check for headspace, assemble the parts, they'll get, the rifles will get, or the uppers, depending on how it's ordered, will get uh, test fired. Typically in the shop, we just shoot one round. I can usually tell in the shop if the gun's not gonna function correctly by firing that one round, whether it's not gonna go off or it's not gonna extract. If there's any issues, then it might go two, three, four, just to try to figure out what's going on. But on average, it gets one. And if you test fired as many 50 caliber rifles as I have, you'll understand why one or two rounds and a few thousand, you know, gets to you after a while. <laughs> Once again, after test fire, they check for headspace again too, to make sure nothing's moved, moved or missed or, or changed since we did it initially. Um, packed up and shipped. And that kind of makes it sound simple, but there's a lot of other steps involved too in that process. When you order one of our SHTF 50 uppers, there's, there's a few different options you can, you can pick. There's different scope rails, 
There's different barrel lengths. There's single shot. There's mag fed. You can buy it just as an upper, which is shipped directly to you, no FFL involved. Or you can choose to purchase it as, say, like a rifle package. We also make a single shot lower that's dedicated for the 50 caliber upper. And it gives the whole, instead of using an AR-15 lower, you use the single shot lower and it gives it a more dedicated look and it's designed for that upper. That's, so that's, you know, there's, there's different options. There's bipods, there's carry handles. What we're gonna build today is a 22 inch magazine fed SHTF 50 upper with a safety harbor firearm, single shot lower with a mono stock, a bipod and the standard high scope rail, which is a standard rail we started with in 2003. First is I'll assemble the bolt head with the ejector and the extractor, the bolt head follower, which follows the, the bolt head and the firing pin and the bolt carrier. Then what you'll see is I'll screw the bolt handle in and we'll set it aside and we'll come back to it a little bit later. Then what, what I did in the video is we will attach the barrel to the receiver. Then I will add the magazine release. We'll put the handguard on, the bipod bushing in the front, the barrel nut, and then the scope rail mount to the top. And after that, the muzzle brake. And then once we put the muzzle brake on, we'll once pick that bolt assembly up, remove the handle, slide the bolt carrier in the back, bolt head through the ejection port, screw the bolt handle back on, and it's basically assembled. What we just assembled was the upper, and what we're also gonna do for that rifle package is assemble the lower using the SHF single shot lower, a mono stock. It, the lower uses an AR-15 trigger and selector safety um, mechanism with the SHF hammer, which comes with the uppers, or you can actually order a lower assembly separately if you already have an upper, and, or you can order a stripped lower if you want. We have different options, or if you want a mono stock, you can order a mono stock or a regular steel stock. So we have a, you, it's kind of a, you have a lot of different options of what you can order and, and how you can package it. And then what we'll do is once we take that assembled lower, we'll assemble it to the upper and make it into a, make it into a rifle. One of the things with the SHTF upper, it's supplied with its own hammer. That hammer is unique and different from an AR-15 hammer and it doesn't have that leg in the back that the AR hammer does. If you try to use an AR-15 hammer with our upper, it will not cock, it will not work right. The way the bolt carriage is designed with the cam in it, the hammer has to, is moved when you work the bolt handle, it cocks the hammer and it, it does two things. It cocks the hammer and also that cam is a safety feature that doesn't allow the hammer to hit the firing pin until it, the bolt is already all the way closed. So you're pretty much, you have to use our hammer with the upper. The SHTF 50 upper as a upper itself requires no FFL. It can ship directly to you cash and carry type item. The SH, SHF lower, the single shot lower, is serial numbered and it's an FFL item, so it has to transfer through a dealer if you're not one. Not a problem to supply a FFL, we ship to them, you do the 4473 with your local dealer. During the manufacture of the SHTF 50, the headspace gets checked at least three times during the fitting, during the assembly, and then before it's packaged up and shipped, it's checked again to make sure that nothing slipped, nothing was you know, got through the, through the process. Um, if you get one and you're having an issue, I've repaired guns for people or uppers for people that have second and sometimes maybe a third owner. So I want you shooting, so we'll make it right as long as you don't run it over with a truck or something like that. <laughs> but there are, there are I, I have seen some really, I, I've, I've fixed some things that I probably shouldn't have fixed, but I want to keep everybody shooting and keep everybody happy. So. If you have a problem with one of our uppers or a lower or stock or whatever part it is, you can email, that's a good, good way to do it. Um, best way though is to give us a phone call and just tell us what's going on. A lot can be said in a phone call a lot faster than trying to figure out an email. Um, sometimes the email response is a little slower, but I'm out in the shop building things. So I don't sit around the computer too much long all day because nothing will get built in the shop. So best way to give us a call. I'd like to say thanks to everybody that's taking time to watch this. I'm Walter Keller from Safety Arbor Firearms. If you like what you saw, you have questions, give us a call, like, share, subscribe. 
Um, comment. Tell us, tell us what you think, no matter what it is. Um, and uh, thanks a lot. <laughs>